What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do how to make objects emit light in cycles rather than blender render. I'm going to show you how to do it in cycles just because people that click on my video expecting to see how to do it in cycles but get my other story that is doing it through blender render. So basically this final scene is red, white and green all emitting light as you can see reflecting on the floor and if like for example I turn the emission of this off you should there you go oh, it looks a bit confusing as you can see the cube in the center is retrieving the red light and the green light from both sides alright so also what a lot of people do which I've got a little scene set up here is use the lighting system use the emission of the lights to actually turn them into lights for the scene so as you can see here when I render this uh, my monkey is being lit up by the actual objects emitting light. A lot of people use that method to put some lighting into their scene. I personally use lights but sometimes it's a better idea to do that because you get a better effect because lights aren't points, they are actually shaped. So let's show you how to do this. So first of all you start off with your cube. Take away your light and if you take a picture it'll be nothing. Um, turn blender render Blender uh, to cycles render, and you'll have cycle scene. If I go into here, you'll be able to see that real time. Just a dark scene, you can't see anything. Turn it back to solid. Okay, click your object, go into materials, surface, use nodes, click the drop down list for surface, and click emission. And you're done. That is literally it. Now you have your cube emitting some light and that is literally all you have to do is to get that's all you got to do to get your object to emit some light in the scene if you want it to look better go to sampling maybe set that to final it will look at um, take away a bit bleh, it will take away some more of the actual pixels da, 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 my voice is breaking there a little bit take a long time to render but that will take away uh, basically all the pixels that you saw a second ago and I'll make a scene if I turn that down to maybe 40% it'll do the scene a little bit faster obviously a bit smaller image a bit less quality but as you can see it will do that and like I said a lot of people for some reason well not for some reason because it looks good maybe use the light uh, maybe a bit thicker to light up your scene let me import a cube I was going to put the monkey but to the cube and they will use that to light up the scene if the render doesn't crash that is but as you can see it's lighting up the scene I won't let it fully render to save some time but it looks very nice um, very nice environment lighting if you want to edit it just go back into your object go into here and turn up your strength or turn up your light like if you want a slightly older light it will have a slight orange tint to it because for some reason old lights do let's make it a little bit brighter it was that one let's make it 1.5 there we go and you can change the lines however you want, you can put more lights in the scene maybe this one will be a warning light so it'll be a little bit less strong and it will be red and that should, whoa, oh because I didn't create a new material they both had the same material on so let's make it a tint of orange again one strength we want now to be 1.5 let's make that one actually 0.5 take a picture you might not get a lot of light from the actual um, red one I th I'm actually curious to see it too if you would be able to see it but yeah anyways that is it to making a object emit light in cycles I hope this is helpful for anyone who maybe watched my other tutorial and didn't understand or in general was just searching the internet or YouTube to find out how to make an object emit light using blender cycles render once again thank you for watching I do hope this helped you out and bye bye